Hi, my name is Elizabeth Moretti and I am currently a staff member and part of the LYAC. Um, I'm a student here in London and I go to Western University. So I think since joining the LYAC, so I was a counselor a couple of years ago and I think the progression from then until now, um, I've learned a lot more about the city and what it has to offer. I think I've learned a lot more about what advocacy means to me and what it looks like for me. I think I've learned a lot in terms of just like the way that young people see the city from different parts of the city. The council kind of brings that together in a way that you may never otherwise interact with those people. So I actually found out about the LYC because my brother was in it the year prior to. It took a lot of convincing because I didn't really think it was for me. I wasn't really politically inclined um, and I didn't really think I had very much to offer and I didn't really think I could be of benefit to the council and so I think it took a lot of convincing in terms of framing it in the way that it is. It's like you don't have to know everything going in. It's a lot of learning yourself and learning about what works best for you. I eventually did it because I had a large curiosity of what was available in the city. Um, especially for the young people who are a part of it, it makes an impact because like, you learn a lot more about the processes in the city and you learn about the connections in the city and who deals with what issues and who to go to. It kind of allows young people the space to explore advocacy for themselves and kind of gives them the opportunity to learn from one another in this space and to, and to fail and to try new things. In my term as a counselor, I didn't have anything specific that I wanted to work on, um, so I didn't come in with a mindset of wanting to do a specific thing or tackle a specific project. Um, so it was more of a learn-as-you-go kind of thing, and so I think one of the most interesting things we did on our council, at least, was we had an age-friendly conversation where we had um, elders in London and young people in London kind of come together and talk about what they experience on the daily and just like their life experiences and I thought it was really interesting how much they overlapped and we kind of talked about how sometimes we're overlooked like decisions are just made for us rather than the inclusion or when there is inclusion it's not really like engaging. Well I'd probably say go for it um, but before you just go out and do anything I would say learn more about it, so learn who in the city you could talk to, learn about what's been done as well, so you can kind of make make progress on what's already been started and what's existed already. Find something that you're passionate about, so find something meaningful to you, and so it's something that will continue to drive you in the work that you do. Yeah, I would just say before going for it, and you should definitely go for it, just think, think about it in terms of like who it impacts and what kind of outcomes you want from it and who to talk to and where to start from.